Hello beautiful beings. So I'm making a video today from the house sitting place that I'm at today and um, I haven't made a video in a while that I've actually been um, talking in. I've been doing a lot of um, singing videos and things on the road and around the place. Um, much of this year has really been about me um, going to different locations, um, going to different sacred sites, um, different churches and places and um, reconnecting with the, the sacred resonance of those places, um, elevating above the, um, the aspects of society that are starting to dissolve at the moment and this ancient pure um, energy of um, of love and purity is starting to shine through again. So um, yeah it's been an interesting year of lots of um, lots of filtering um, is what I feel like I've been doing. Like going into lots of different timelines and situations and energy fields um, I feel very collectively around me everything that's going on around me um, a lot of what's going on with those um, that I'm around as well and feeling my own um, sense of awakening and dissolving and reconfiguring <laughs> to really come into a state of clarity and purity so that when I share my message I can share it in a really pure and illuminated way in full remembrance of what I've come here to do which is to spread love to the world and inspiration, um, purity and joy, um, our true state of being, our soul's, um, our soul's true state um, and it's a really beautiful, exciting time to see that awakening in others around me as well. Um, I'm around so many just incredible, beautiful souls that are so courageous, that have taken on so many, um, so many issues and things and, um, and are just rising above it all helping to heal collectively um, everything in this world that needs to needs to come into a state of oneness again now. It's time for us to let go of our separation and remember how interconnected we all are and how beautiful it is to do that. So I had this um, um, this thought pop into my head this morning that we are um, just coming into the, um, the full moon now, like the Gemini full moon. And whenever I feel the full moon, I feel this sense of energy, electricity. I can feel it now um, vibrating through my body. And um, it's a really great time to, um, to come into to stillness and to really remember what have we come here to do, to be, and what really lights us up and brings us joy. Um, the thought that popped into my head this morning, the phrase was um, um, switching from being a receiver um, to a transmitter, um, which is like a very kind of electrical term. Um, and it's going from this state of, I feel like a lot of what my role has been this year has been, um, I don't want to say a bottom feeder, <laughs> but a, um, a filter, like a filtration system. Like I've been taking in like a lot of dense energy from outside of myself and filtering it and um, elevating above it. So it's um, it's been really really tiring and hard being able to stay in my power and to see that all of everything that comes at me, all of these different states of being and emotions and things, 
that can be really painful is um is not my true state of being it's um illusion it's things to be transmitted and forgiven and received but the true state of being is just this state of oneness and everything else is an expression of that oneness um a remembrance of and a learning of all aspects of yourself so this um this becoming a transmitter rather than a receiver is the role of um once you have um spent a lot of time outside of yourself feeling those different states of vibration and alignment and um different different ways you can live your life basically every every town um every soul tribe you come into contact with there are many many different types of um being and vibration and ways to live your life and um and it's interesting to flow between all of those different states and to see that there is um there is source and there is oneness and there is light within all of those different pathways and darkness within them as well and there is love and there is um separation within all of those different pathways and to accept all of them and yet by doing that you begin to flow and find what state of um what state of being and what environment is a good reflection of what you wish to learn at this time so it's about learning to flow and discern rather than i don't like this i want to get away from this and um so it becomes a much more um a flowing state of being which is this divine feminine trait being able to um to move in the world freely and to go with um life cycles um so coming from that state of receiving of um feeling what's around you of sometimes being bombarded by it um we are learning to come back to ourselves to our soul's divine light that state of clarity and oneness and from that state of oneness we are able to really think and feel into ourselves what do i really want to learn right now what really lights me up what elevates me um what really makes me feel alive and awakened and um what brings me joy and we have many um many ways of directing that consciousness that um that light within you that wants to create that wants to see the world reflected back to you to play with those different um different states of being around you in different ways um and that transmitting um we can use lots of different tools and tasks um to help us to do that um there are so many different um different processes that we have at our mind's disposal where our mind can go from being this chattery annoying um um basically blocking us from <laughs> being able to create <laughs> to um being able to actually utilize our mind in um combination with our hearts light to really create in the world what we really want to manifest and there are lots of different things like um using abundance in different ways um using vision boards um i use pinterest a lot and i love um for me like artwork and things really lights me up and using music and using dance and lots of things to really get us in that state of being where we are um shining our light outwards allowing ourselves to be seen to be witnessed and then 
um, by being in that state of emanation, the world responds to you. It um, comes to play, comes to play and shines back at you um, states of being that are inside of yourself, which is a really, really beautiful, really beautiful state of being to be in. So, um, yeah, there are lots of different um, spiritual teachers which can teach this in a really beautiful way, um, like lots of Hay House authors um, teaching like affirmations. Um, I really like the book Ask and It Is Given. Um, there are loads of amazing processes in that that um, really can help you to, um, to play with that manifestation. Um, and obviously movies like The Secret and things. Um, they're really good, um, really good just to kickstart you into a state of alignment and creation um, rather than manifesting out of a sense of um, need and fear. It becomes a much more playful, uplifting process. Um, so for now, I would just urge you if you feel drawn to do so to on this full moon take a bit of time to come into stillness to come into just oneness and to really feel within yourself um, who am I what feels most beautiful to me where am I going what state of being do I want to express next in my life? We are coming into a state of um, a state of letting go a new creation with um, a new year coming. So for me, it's a state of reviewing everything I've been through this year and being really proud of myself for the massive shifts that I've made, as well as getting excited about where am I going next, what do I really want to create next in my life. Um, and then after you've had that sense of just stillness and really feeling into you, um, your soul's light, if you struggle to do it, um, in the environment that you're in, that you feel like you're being bombarded with um, different things that make you feel like you need to become something other than who you want to be. Go somewhere in an environment that really uplifts you to um, to remember that. Like going to a sacred site or um, an environment like a forest or somewhere where you really feel a sense of clarity and stillness. And then when you receive those answers within you, those intuitions, you can then start to follow them and um, create with them using those processes um, to manifest that outside of yourself. So I'm feeling like next year is going to be this really exciting year of um, creating and co-creating and exploring and playing, um, letting go of some of the, the denser uh, really painful energy <laughs> that we've been through this year so that we can be clear channels to really step into our soul's full power and alignment and the um, the words that have come into my head for next year every year I choose a different um, a different word that I want to embody and um, this year was um, blossom was stepping into my wholeness and my divine feminine power and having that that gentleness of being able to flow and to um, to show the world more of who I am and to like feel into that sense of um, my interconnectedness with with nature um, whereas this year the the words that came to me was um, not just one word but it was three words which was um, illuminate, activate and create 
which felt really powerful to me. I was like, oh, oh, I like that. <laughs> um, so next year is going to be quite an exciting year with lots of lots of me sharing um, different aspects of myself in different ways, um, co-creating events and my writing, my videos, really um, creating from that sense of all of the inner work I've done this year that I'm now able to um, to show others. So lots of love, beautiful people. I hope that you have a really, really beautiful couple of days and that this video helps you to remember how beautiful you truly are. So lots of love. Oh, I'm trying to turn it off on the screen and it's not a touch screen. <laughs> oh dear. This is what technology does to you. Get out in nature.